Good morning, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and share Revelation chapter 22, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. It is a beautiful verse, this guy. So let's start. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the streets of it and on either side of the river was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Beautiful. And there was a uh, sorry, and there shall be no more curses, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him him and they shall see his face and his name shall be in their foreheads and there shall be no night there and they need no candle neither light of the sun for the Lord God giveth them light and they shall reign forever and ever and he said unto me these sayings are fruitful and true. You hear that? And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. And it says, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Message. Did you see these beautiful verses, guys? There are, they are gorgeous. So here we go. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ so I could understand these verses and talk about them with you guys. In the name of Jesus Christ, please, God, give me the ears and the eyes to understand. But here we go. Guys, look, like it says right here, this is a little message, a big message right there. And it says, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. So remember, guys, all this is real. It is not a joke. It is not a, a fairy tale. None of that. I do hear that a lot, that the Bible's a fairy tale, that it's not real. It's telling us right here, whoever wants to. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. I will love to keep them. I always have them in my heart. I am staying strong in the name of Jesus Christ because I know he will come, but I don't know the day or the hour. But he will give us signs, guys. And it says right here, it's so beautiful. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God. So what is that? That is heaven, guys. It is heaven. There, it's, there's no more night. None of that. It's going to be beautiful. And there shall be no, and there shall be no night there. And they need no candles, neither light of the sun. None of that. Our Lord, Savior, Lord God, give us them light. You see that? And they, we will reign there forever. They're talking about heaven, but we have to keep the prophecy of this book, we have to believe in our Lord Jesus that everything that is written is real. Everything is real. God is real. Jesus is real. The Holy Spirit is real. Everything is real, guys. Let's stay strong in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to enter heaven. Let's not believe the lies from the devil. It is he is over. He's done. That's why he's he's trying. He's working so hard. The devil's working so hard to take souls down there with him. But no, guys, let's stay strong. So we, one day we could come here and see this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things that our Lord Savior is showing us right now in this Bible. We want to make this come, you know, true. It's going to be real. We're going to see it one day. So stay strong in the name of Jesus Christ. We, we could go there, guys. <laughs> We just got to believe, have faith, and don't let the devil fool you. This is all for us, and he's telling us he'll come quickly. And blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book.
And it is a message right there. Have a wonderful and blessed day.